I mean, but let's just define this for the audience because when you're talking about yeah. top of the funnel, you're essentially saying these are not ones who are looking to buy right now, but they are just sort of getting to know your brand. So it's yeah. more of um, like probably even if you can't sell now, I guess what you're trying to say here is that, um, or what you're saying here is that uh, get your brand out there because it's still people are researching you and when they can Absolutely. buy it, then you're in the perfect place to get that sale. Absolutely. Yep. So it's, it's super interesting, right? Because usually um, there's this struggle between trying to, um, trying to prioritize, you know, the types of content topics that will get you closer to the funnel, closer to the sale, right? right. If it's somebody, for example, in the decision buying um, or in the decision making phase of their funnel where they're like, all right, we have these two brands or I have these two products. I'm not sure which one to buy. You know, mm -hmm. maybe they're searching for uh, a keyword with verses, or maybe they're looking for um, something with reviews. Um, you know, how do you balance that and content creation for those queries to, you know, queries related to your actual product, you know, a copy block on your e best selling e-commerce page, for example, right. versus something that is much more high level that's probably not going to convert. Um, at least not in the, you know, traditional last click attribution model, right? Right. Um, that's just focused on brand awareness. But now I think we have a little more structure and I think it's a little easier now to figure out how to prioritize that based on all the external factors that are happening right now. Well, what can you sell? <laughs> that's what right. you prioritize, right? right? And if you can't sell anything, one, I'm sorry, that's terrible. But if you can't sell anything, then, well, are you pivoting your products or services to be able to sell something? Hopefully you are. Um, and if so, then that's the thing that you focus on building your content around. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can't do that, well, then, you know, your goals are going to change so that rather than trying to sell, you're going to be trying to, you know, focus on other micro conversions. So you might be focused on like um, build your build, email list, maybe building your email list, building your, your social media following, um, you know, video plays online. Yeah. All of mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. Um, and so if those become your, um, your new KPIs, then yeah, you're absolutely going to be focused on more top of funnel type of searches. Um, and I, I think right now there's actually a, um, a pretty sharp peak in how to query, which makes perfect sense because yeah, it does. people have to figure out how to do a lot of stuff that they weren't doing before. <laughs> And, and that's great. And I mean, like I was kind of getting to that with the, uh, with the content question, right? Because, um, you know, I'm just going to link that with what we said before, before we started the podcast about how it's a lot of like back to basics, but essentially mm -hmm. it seems like what you're saying with the SEO is that most of the queries are top of the funnel because people have so much more time and they're looking for research and things like that. And if you mm -hmm. have a product, then I, I guess if you've been selling that for some time, you probably are a subject matter expert. So you can attract that traffic with some top, some really great top of the funnel content Absolutely. and then hopefully convert yeah. them. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I would say as far as like advice goes to anybody who hasn't spent a lot of time on their, um, on a content strategy, you know, I would be, I'd be focusing on two places. I would be focusing on your e-commerce pages. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for anybody who, who hasn't, you know, using copy blocks or making sure that the copy on those pages um, is optimized. And by that, we mean it's very clear what that category is. It's very clear what is being sold. Um, you have a lot of content that's supporting that on those pages. Um, you know, if you're still able to sell a widget, then make sure that the page for the widgets is very well optimized. 